Ladies and gentlemen, after witnessing a beautiful round two TKO stoppage, we continue the action here live from the heart of the Middle East in Dubai, UAE with the Legacy Boxing Series. We move on to bout number eight. Bout number eight is sanctioned for eight three-minute rounds in immense heavyweight 200 pounds boxing division matchup. Your referee in charge of the action is referee Hendrik Schramm from Germany. This is bout number eight, and bout number eight is sanctioned for eight three-minute rounds in a men's heavyweight boxing matchup. Dubai, are you ready to see two heavyweight titans fight it out in the ring? Are you ready? Please help me welcome as we bring out first, fighting out of the blue corner, he fights out of Croatia, it's Agron Smarchici. Bring out his opponent to the ring, fighting out of the red corner, coming in from Florida, USA, is Lenroy Thomas. Yo, TNT without the most, I mean, no, no, where you would have been. Lenroy Thomas Only was so up in the UK over a stretch. I was ringside for all three of his fights there when he won the Commonwealth title by split decision against Dave Allen, outdoors at Bramall Lane in May 2016 on the undercard of Kell Brook against Errol Spence. Deservedly getting the decision in my view, a year later pretty much, he went into a rematch, an early clash of heads meant that it was a technical draw, and he defended the title against Joe Joyce. A few weeks after that, really, and Joyce was, it was too much. He ran Lenroy Thomas over, to be honest with you. It was fairly brutal. He's not boxed that much since then, three times in the four years since, but he's now on the same training team as Mike Perez and Frank Zaldivar. He's got the Jamaican flag there. That Jamaican heritage is what allowed him to box for the Commonwealth. But he's a well-drilled fighter, a well-schooled fighter, certainly taking his time getting into the ring and climbing up the steps there. 37 years old now. The last couple of fights have been in Germany. The most recent, the fourth round stoppage last November. series we have arrived at bout number eight bout number eight is sanctioned for eight three minute rounds in a men's heavyweight plus 200 pounds boxing division matchup when the action begins your man in charge of these monsters in the ring is referee Hendrik Schramm from Germany and now fighting out of the blue corner he comes in wearing the silver trunks with black trim standing at a height of 198 centimeters coming in at tick foot five weighing it officially at 109.5 kgs 241 pounds tonight he enters the ring with a pro record of 17 wins with 15 of those big wins coming in by way 
of knockout and only a singular loss. Ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of Zagreb, Croatia, it's Adrian Smarkichi. And now, fighting out of the red corner, tonight he has the ring wearing the black trunks, standing at a height of 195 centimeters, coming in at six foot four. He weighs it officially at 109.8 kgs, 242 pounds. Tonight he enters the ring with a pro record of 25 wins, with 13 of those big wins coming in by way of knockout, and only five losses on record. Ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of Jamaica by way of St. Pete, Florida, USA is Lenroy T. N. T. Thomas. Gentlemen, I want to have a clear, fair fight. After a knockdown, go in the white corner before I start to count. Protect yourself all the time, touch gloves. This could be a very interesting contest because there's a big golfing experience between these two. Thomas has been around the block a good few times and okay, he's got some defeats, but a couple of them have come against Joe Joyce and Dominic Brazil, so he's mixed in some very good company. He's won that Commonwealth title. He had a big win against Jason Estrada. He's boxed on some big stages. On the undercard of Miguel Cotto against Michael Jennings at Madison Square Garden, for example. So it's quite a lot he's done, Smikichi. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Ground, his wins have come against the shit in opposition to Southport's here. It's a big, big man, six foot. Six, six, seven. But he's a neat, nice box, isn't he? He's nice, he keeps his shape really well. Yeah, good for Thomas. Went right up to the body. He went low, then he went high then with the with the second shot. It was interesting that fight against Dave Allen at Bramall Bay. He was busy, he was compact, he worked hard throughout it, Thomas, and that was how he won it. Allen got himself into some positions, looked like he was about to really let his hands go. It didn't ever materialise, it just didn't really happen. And whilst he was looking like he was going to land something big, but not doing it, Thomas was, was winning rounds. A solid south ball jab there, running there by Smachiki there. Big, big strong legs on him. Croatia, that's one thing you notice. But what he's done well here though. Just that's a good shot there from Thomas, but he put Thomas on the on the on the back foot, put him against the rope, so he's not stalking him, not trying to put pressure on him. And he's taking control of the ring. Shot there from Smakichi. Set off with the right, and missed with that, but then came back with the left. I was watching Smakichi earlier on today, and I thought, you know, he thought he was neat and nice, and I thought, you know, let's, you know, Thomas can use all that experience again and make him rough and, and make him work harder than he wants to, then he's going to might be in trouble here. Works there, just jabbing to the head, then going down to the body. Another good jab again. Lovely jab. Feet there, there from Smokichi. Imagine the one defeat when you get knocked out in the first round. Jason 11, the 9 fighter. Oh, oh. oh, good combination there, right at the very end of the round. The referee says slip. Didn't call that a knockdown. I think it is though, because he slipped there earlier on, didn't fall, but he slipped there. It's just, I, I think it's, a, I think it's a, the advertising, which is a little bit wet. 
I thought that was a good round there from Smokey G there. I thought he boxed really, really well. To see the replay just clipping Thomas there with a nice little right hook. The jab was really solid from him. And surprisingly, he was able to push Thomas back quite early. As I mentioned, he's got the same training team as Mike Perez and Frank Salvador. And Lord Thomas, he was with Kenny Porter when we saw him. Prior to that, he was with Herman so he's been around some training camps. He's just been around, basically. He's 37 and he's boxed at a good level for a long time. That's the shot. That's all he needs. He just needs to keep throwing her jab out all the time, and that's that's the shot for him. He throws us all good shot again, though. I think it's, it is in the center of that ring. Good left hand on from Smoky Chi there, lovely shot. Thomas just moving into range and then looking to attack the ball. He's going to try and disrupt this rhythm a little bit. Good oh, shot. Smoky Chi chopping down with that left hand. He's got Thomas in the corner. He just walks on to a jab there as well. It's a really economical, methodical approach, isn't it? But effective. Left hand landed. It was kind of round the side, almost round the back. But he's putting the punches together really well here, Smikichi. And I think he's got some heavy hands on him because I think these are hurting Thomas a little bit. You know, they're they're having an impact. And what he's throwing Thomas has got a little bit of desperation about it at yeah. times. And, he, and he's rolling Thomas. He's trying to keep. He's trying to stay a constantly moving target. But is just finding him every time, and the jab is doing it. Just, just, he really steps into the shots. And they're right above us now, you can hear the shots, can't you? You almost feel them. You can. Thomas takes a little walk off to his left hand side. This is difficult for him at the minute. A minute remaining in round two. Smikichi has been economical, he's not wasted anything really. And as I say, I think, I think he's got some heavy hands on him. And just backing Thomas up to the ropes there, and he is backing him up too. Thomas isn't voluntarily giving that ground. Just crashing into the guard and then looking to chop down with the left hand. Oh, nice slow lovely there from Thomas. Not much on it, but it got him off the got him off the trouble, didn't it? Got him off the ropes. Oh, that's a good shot there. Big single left hand. Gloves low, just launched into that one. Good right there though from Smikichi. Good finish of the round actually. It's the last 20 seconds. Bit of a flurry there from Thomas and then Smikichi. Let's go with a, a left landed around about the shoulder, the bicep. You can hear how solidly it made contact. Oh, that's a good shot there from Smikichi there. Lovely shot left hand. Well, goes to the end of the second. This is warming up well. This is a good fight. This is a good fight because Thomas knows he is absolutely in a fight here. It would be what he expected. This is the heavyweight division, but. He's having to bite down here. But he did, and he did well, because in the second, you no, know, the last sort of 30 seconds of that round there, he was he was more than competitive, because it looked really hard for him. The first round was hard for him, and it went in the same vein for most of that second round, where Smikichi was just banging that solid softball jab into him, pushing him back against the ropes, and then Lemuel Thomas was doing all the best he could do, trying to get out of the way. But then he jumped into a sort of sneaky left hand, spun around the centre of the ring, and that gave him a bit of confidence, and he sort of went to work a little bit, didn't he? And the interesting thing about this is that Lenroy Thomas has been down the stretch. He's been in with some with some real good operators. We know that. Smikichi, the wins have come against limited opposition. 15 by knockout in 17 fights. All in fights he was supposed to win. So he's not really ever been challenged. He has lost, but that was a first round knockout. Yes, almost. It counts, obviously, but yeah, it's not as if you've been in a war of attrition or anything like that. You haven't been tested yet, have you? You, you, you like your heart hasn't been tested. That's it, that's it. And if Thomas can 
But just as I say that, he, he gets collared with a heavy one-two there. He can take this deep, Thomas. Then that's what he's got to do. But that's a good combination again from Smikic, who's found his range well there. Climbs into some uppercuts, sneaks a couple of lefts and a right round the back of the guard. And Thomas is in trouble here because nothing is coming back. Big left hand from Smikic. Thomas falls forward and grabs hold. Smikic doesn't allow it. Bobbing and weaving on the ropes there, Thomas, but he's taking some punishment here. Smikichi is accurate and he's spiteful. He is accurate. He's there and his hands go. We see Gilomo, he's nothing, nothing he saw is not hasn't got an intent to hit the target clean. He's not swinging wildly. He's not loading up at all. He's taking some heavy, heavy shots in this round, Lenroy Thomas, and we're just over a minute into it. Goes down to the body there, Smikichi, and that was, that was solid again. Tough man, though, isn't he, Thomas? He's a tough man. Punches again there, the one two just crashing through the guard. And back with an uppercut there, Thomas, but Smikichi quickly back onto the front foot. He's not going crazy here, Smikichi. Well, he can, I think he's, <laughs> he went for it, didn't he, earlier on? I think he's just uh, trying to fill the lungs back up, to be honest. But he's still, but he's still, even though he's doing that, he's still sort of looking positive and strong and not giving Thomas the, the impression that he is tired, even though I think he is. This is exactly the kind of round, and I was beginning to say it as the onslaught began, that Thomas, if he can get through these, then when we get into 6, 7, 8, it could get interesting. Because he's lost these first three, so. Yeah, and this one has been a hard round for him. Really has. With 30 seconds to go in the round, he's still there, left hand to the body from Thomas. He's really, he's really, still can't say anything, he really is neat with his work, isn't he? He is, he doesn't, he doesn't waste a thing. Almost everything he throws hits something. Lovely one two there from Smikichi and Thomas is spread out on his back right above as he rolls onto his side there. The referee counting, but I think he's I think he's all in here. Lenroy Thomas bravely reaches out the hand to try and pull himself up, but he can't quite manage it. The referee removing the gum shield there. They'll need to just get the medics into the ring and make sure he's okay because that was a heavy combination that put him round right towards the end of the round. He landed that left hand absolutely perfectly. Thomas's back was to us, so we didn't see it crystal clear, but you saw the impact that it had, and a credit to him. He's onto his knees now. They just need to settle him down a bit. Yeah, here, don't they? He, there's, no, there's no rush for him now, but it was a, it was the combination that he's been using all night. Straight southpaw jab, and it just turns from the core, and the shoulders come with it, and a really long left hand. And it's, delivered, and it's accurate because he's punching on different levels there. So he's punching up with the jab, and as he's, as he's moved down, Lenroy Thomas, he's followed through with that left hand. He's a neat and tidy boxer. He really is, and, and, and accurate with it. He can all muck up with his work because every shot he throws, I don't think he's a, he's, a, he's a massive concussive puncher for the heavyweight division, but every shot is heavy, and it wears you down. And that, and that was more than the weight. That was just really good technique. Because he sort of caught Thomas as he was coming forward as well, going low to try and come back in, and he's literally just span his head round. But to be honest, Thomas could, have, by rights, Thomas could have quit. Like there was like 15 different op opportunities for him to quit. Some of the shots he took on the ropes and when he was hurt, just so accurate. He can almost go knees, Makichi. Everything he threw, the upper cadet through the guy. He's looking for the gaps. He's looking for the spaces. He's not just winging in heavy shots to, to pummel, you, pummel you to the floor. Everything is precise, everything has a thought behind it. I'm really impressed with him, he's really good. And the finish is what you want for a heavyweight. And he's come over to Lenroy Thomas, who's now on the stool just to make sure he's okay. And they just need to keep him on that stool for a bit. The doctor, Torsten Dollar, will do what he needs to do. It was a great left hand, just a perfectly set up combination and well delivered. And like you said, a 
there's no more to add to it, really. He, he, he no. doesn't waste anything, he's accurate, he doesn't load up, he doesn't expand unnecessary energy, he does what you, you need him to do. I think as he steps up the levels, he might, you know, I think, you know, imagination, ability, that might come. But, like, as I said at the, at the beginning, when I was watching him today, certainly, he looked, at his past fight, he just looked neat and tidy with his work. Everything had a purpose, everything was, was thought out what he wanted to do. He never threw a shot. Just out of, he never reacted to anything with a shot. Everything, everything had, a, had a thought process behind it, which is great. But but Lemo Thomas needed to get a fight like that out of his rhythm. When he fires, when he doesn't want to fight, that's when he tires out. And he did try it the round previously. At the end of it, he seemed like you know, well, hang on a minute, he, he might make this kid work a bit harder he wants to, and it might become a little bit interesting. But no, with a with a with a, with a one-two like that for these giants of men, it's only going to go one way. Ladies and gentlemen, bout number eight comes to a close with your referee calling a stop to the action at two minutes and 59 seconds in round number three. To the blue corner from Croatia, it's Agron Smakichi. Big, big win for Agron Smakichi. He's got that blemish on his record, of course, but that's behind him now. He's definitely wants to keep an eye out for it because that was a serious test for him. That was the point of that. And gentlemen, I am stood here with the monster slayer himself, all the way from Zagreb, Croatia. It's Agrin Smakichi. Agrin, I must say, I'm going to let you guys know something. During the press conference, you can also go back and watch this video. I asked him, do you think it will go the entire eight rounds? There was real beef here, man. There was real beef between these two fighters. You know what Agrin said? He said, it don't matter. It's going to be ended in round three number four at best. He has made that promise. Aaron, what would you like to tell your fans and friends watching you at home today? First of all, I would like to say Salam Alaikum Dubai. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. I win the fight. My opponent is healthy. We're going to go home healthy to our family. That's most important. Big respect for Lenary. He gave me a great fight. That's it. Yeah, yes, I can say. I promise. I say it four or five rounds in the first face to face, but on the second face to face, he tried to scare me. But it doesn't go like that. I'm not afraid of nobody. I'm just afraid of Allah, the one in God. And that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, your monster slayer, your man from Croatia, Agron Smakichi. And I want to thank to my mother and father. They were helping me all this preparation. My mother suffered so much with me, with injuries, with food, with washing my stuff. So mother, you're, you're, you're amazing mother. Thank you very much, mama. I love you guys. I, I love you, Croatian people, Albanian, Kosovo, all Balkan people. We stay strong, we stay together. That's it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, give it up one more time for your man from Croatia, Agrin Smakici. Great stuff.
great stuff. Emotional stuff there from him as well when he was talking about his about his parents, about his mum in particular there. You love to hear that from fighters. Yeah, you too. You really do. But this is what we're here for. This is what, what's gonna we're gonna make him is this, not the speeches, the work, the quality of his work. And again, just every punch was thought out, everything landed clean, precise. That's a lovely shot, it really is. Right through the target. And so we know how tough Thomas is, he showed it tonight and he's shown it in the past. Look at that. Right above us. I'm holding my head because I do oh this is awful. It was a really thudding shot. But even before that, everything the whole process of of, of, of the two and a half rounds, whatever it was.